As your congressman, I have kept my word to sponsor the strongest possible pro-life legislation. My proposal defines life beginning at fertilization, and it confers constitutional protection upon unborn babies. Recognizing the personhood of the unborn is a key strategy in the battle to restore respect for human life at every stage and age. It is also the strategy that Planned Parenthood, the National Abortion Rights Action League, and other pro-abortion groups fear the most. They know that the personhood approach has the power to reverse the Supreme Court's notorious Roe v. Wade and Doe v. Bolton decisions. These acts of judicial fiat are directly responsible for the death by abortion of at least 50 million innocent unborn boys and girls since 1973. How is it in America that we've been led to accept the killing of 4,000 unborn babies every day? Part of the answer to that question is that many Americans have bought into the lie that the fetus is not really a human being. And another part of the answer is that many people have become so self-centered that it does not matter to them that they are killing an innocent baby. Well, the first thing I do as president is, is sign the Freedom of Choice Act. I have stood up for the freedom of choice on this fundamental issue. I will not yield. Shame on us, and may God have mercy upon us. As a physician, I understand the medical and scientific truth that human life begins at fertilization. As a Christian, I know that God is the creator and that every life has a spiritual dimension. God has a plan, a purpose for every human being. As your congressman, I'm dedicated to doing everything in my power to protect innocent human life from conception to natural death. I am pleased to be endorsed by Georgia Right to Life, National Right to Life, and other pro-life organizations. I ask for your prayers and your support.